Hey guys, it is Erin here, and let me tell you what. I am so excited. It is episode number 16 of Expand Your Preschool Program in 2019, 30 Tips in 30 Days, and y'all, we're at episode number 16 already. Can you believe it? It's just flying by for me, and which means January is flying by for me, but I'm super excited. So if you're joining me, say, hey, Erin, let me know that you're here. Even when you come in on the replay, you know I want to know that you're here and that you are hopefully getting some value from these tips every single day. And so if you're joining me, say, hey, Erin, let me know that you're here. Today, I want to talk about, now, here's a tip. Here's the tip, and I'm going to go into the story first. The tip is you have to take care of you first before you can serve others. And so I'm going to let you in on a little story that happened here in my household this morning. And I thought, you know what? I want to go ahead and share this with everybody in my Teach Preschool Dance Tribe because I think it's really relevant when we look at the big picture. So here in the birdhouse this morning, my 10-year-old Bella was having kind of a tough morning. And it's been raining outside and a little gloomy. And so... Um, mornings getting out of bed has been kind of rough for for them um, which I totally get you know we all want to snuggle underneath the blanket and just stay home and not do anything or go to school or work right but we all have a job to do and we all need to take care of ourselves but anywho so we get him out of bed and Bella's having kind of a rough morning and she gets out of bed and has breakfast and I think everything is moving in the right direction and then she starts crying and mind you she's 10 years old y'all so she kind of just starts crying out of the blue and ask what's wrong and of course nothing and then ask again and so she lets me in that she is a little stressed out because she has been working on a science project a solar system project so she picks a planet she has to do a report about the planet. She built a model of the planet. And now the last piece of this project is her creating a slideshow um, for them to present at their back to school night for the parents about their planet. So I'm asking her why she's so upset about this because she's already turned in the first two pieces and all she has left to do is complete the slideshow, which they've been working on in class. And she lets me in on that hers is almost done she actually doesn't have too much more left of hers to do but she was feeling very overwhelmed because her teacher was having her help the student who sits next to her in class now this opened up a conversation about well are you guys partners or are you see just asking you to help her because she's behind what's going on and so after we had this conversation, it came to light that the child who sits next to her struggles um, a lot actually in class and she has not even started her slideshow part of the project. Um, apparently during the time that they've been working on this portion, that child gets pulled from class and goes to an intervention class to help them make sure that they are staying caught up with the core concepts with math and English and those sort of things. So the time that they were spending on this project, she is actually not in the classroom. And so this child is very far behind. And when the teacher asked my daughter to help her get caught up, she started, she's having anxiety because she feels like she's not going to be able to finish her project when it, before it's due and help this other child. And it brought me back to the same thing. We have to take care of ourselves before we can take care of others. And it brought me to another story to, to explain and drive home this message to her. And if you've ever traveled, if you've ever gotten in an airplane, they go through the safety procedure, right? They go through the procedure. They tell you about the flotation device underneath the seat. They tell you about if it happens, how oxygen masks will fall. And you are to help yourself first before you try to help others. And when I reminded her of that, 
you could see the light bulb go off. You could see the light, literally watch like, oh. So what you're saying is that if I can't take care of myself and make sure that I have the oxygen or I have what I need to take care of myself, I can't help anyone else. I'm no good at helping anyone else. And I said, yes, baby, that's exactly it. You have to make sure that you take care of yourself and give yourself priority. It's not selfish to make sure that you are doing what you need to do for you first. Because when you take care of yourself and you are mindful of yourself, then you then have the capacity to serve others. And it was, it was like a light bulb going off y'all. And, and I am so glad that I was able to remind her and kind of give her that analogy because it really helped her understand that she was only responsible really and truly for herself. And before she could really be of service to others, she needed to take care of herself. And so how I want to bring this back to this tip is this. How are you making sure that you're taking care of yourself, self-care? So I do something. I actually get my calendar out and I pencil in at least once a week that I go out and I either have coffee with a friend, a lunch date with a friend. Um, we, you know, at least once a week, not with the same friend every single week, right? But it's part of making sure that I'm taken care of and that my friendships are being nourished and that we're really all one big community and we're in it together. But by taking the time for myself and stepping away from my family, from my business, and just spending time on me and, and our friendship, it, it helps me with my self-care. And not only that, I take the time and I pencil in. My husband and I, we go and have lunch dates all the time. We have date nights all the time because it's super important to not only nourish our relationships with our spouses, not only with our friendships, with our friends, but I also do this with my children. And we do things individually where me and my and Bella will go out and do something special while my husband and our younger daughter Peyton go out and do something special. And then the next time we swap, right? Because we are all about connection, living life to its fullest. But if you're not taking the time to take care of yourself and, and not only yourself, but nourish your relationships that make you feel alive and whole, how can you go out there and really serve your families and your students well? So your tip for the day is I want you to go into your calendar today, right now, and I want you to look and see when you can actually go and have a lunch date with a friend, a dinner date with a friend, coffee, go out special with your spouse. And I want you to not only put it in your calendar, make it a priority, but I want you to comment here and tell me what the next thing you're going to do out is. So I'm going to start because the truth is I actually just came from one. I just had lunch with my friend Jennifer and so I had lunch with my friend Jennifer and then this weekend I am going to the snow with a group of five other oh, I'm not talking really well y'all five other families so we're nourishing those relationships. And then, and then next week, I am having lunch on Tuesday. I mean, I've been giving you all the nitty gritty on Tuesday with my friend, Lori. So I'm putting it all in there for you. Oh, I didn't want to do that. With my friend Lori. Okay, so it's in there. It should be. It's coming. <laughs> so if you so that is your task. Get out your calendar, put it in there now, right? Get in there, put it in there. 
why does it want to tag? It won't let me do it without tagging the friend. Um, so put it in there for me. Let me know what you are doing to take care of yourself this month. We have a couple of weeks left, and I want to see you have at least one day on there, one thing that you're doing for yourself, because self-care is so important, and you need to spend some time on you. So I'm going to leave you all there. I hope you have a fantastic afternoon, and I will see you all tomorrow for episode number 17. Bye, friends. Bye.